All right, Coach, the third quarter was another issue for the team outscored by 17 points by the reigning conference champions. What do you think was the, the key issue in that quarter that led to that? The whole game, we couldn't get stops. You know, we've got to be better defensively. We talked about that. Uh, you know, I think we gave up uh, 25 in the first quarter, 18 in the second quarter. It, we, we just got to got to be better defensively and it's it comes into playing team defense it's not one individual uh, but we've just got to be better defensively and then and better rebounding so you know I thought that was the big thing we score 79 points you know I feel pretty good about scoring 79 points but you give up 99 it's it's a struggle well you say you gave up 25 points in the first quarter but you also scored 25 points in the first quarter including five three balls in just the first five minutes of the game how do you feel your team did offensively through that first half i think that's fool's goal you know i think when you rely on hey we're hitting shots so you know uh, you got to come down and guard every single possession, and, and I've always felt like, uh, as a program, we've we've whether it was on, on the men's side, or women's side, we've been a good defensive team, and right now we're not, and that's something we've got to improve on. But uh, uh, we did make some shots early. We struggled a little bit in the third quarter. I thought I thought we we broke down too much in the third quarter and, and, and tried to do things outside the offense, which hurt us. Uh, so anyway, we just got to improve. Was there any specific? single point, single run, single basket that you think that was a key turning point in the game? Not necessarily, no. I just thought it was uh, consistently over 40 minutes. We were not good enough defensively, and, and it just, you know, it takes its toll on you, and it puts a lot of pressure on your offense. Uh, you know, by the same token, if you're not very good offensively, you're not scoring, it puts a lot of pressure on your defense. But I thought we did put a lot of pressure on our defense, uh, on our offense, by not, not being able to score. I mean, not being able to defend them on a consistent basis, and it was just it's, it's disappointing. Now, of course, a quick turnaround before Georgia Southwestern. What are you going to emphasize for your team in the interim? Well, I just told the girls, I said, is there a silver line to this? They, I said, you know, there is. We play in two days, you know. Uh, we get another opportunity to go out there and improve and get better. Uh, obviously, you know, I don't know how much better you're going to get defensively in one day, but we're going to emphasize uh, emphasize defense. Uh, uh, Georgia Southwestern is similar to this team. They're very athletic, very, very strong, they're very aggressive. Uh, and, and the other thing is they'll, they'll really get after you defensively and take some chances and try to create some turnovers. So we've got to take care of the ball, uh, be able to get our defense set, and then we've got to be better defensively and rebounding. All right, Coach, thank you for the time. Good luck on Tuesday. Okay, thank you.